Hi guys! I am on my way to possibly one of my last therapy appointments. At least for a while, anyway. My hair's wet. I'm just the shower. <laughs> anyway, um, I have a little bit of updates to share. Um, last, uh, today is Saturday, so not yesterday, but the Friday before. Um, I finally got a call from the clinic saying that everything had gone through and that my health insurance had approved my surgery and um, that it was okay for me to go ahead and pick a day. So I chose November 7th. I have a date. <laughs> I'm so excited that I finally have an actual date. So November 7th. 2016, I will be having the Roux-en-Y gastric bypass surgery. Um, I have to go on Friday, the November 4th, and I have a whole bunch of stuff I have to get done that day. Um, I have a, a consult with the surgeon. This time I'm actually going to meet the surgeon, not like last time where I thought I was going to meet the surgeon, and then I ended up just seeing the nurse. <laughs> this time I'm actually going to see the surgeon. So, meet with the surgeon, go over, over the surgery and everything. Again, it's all stuff I already know, but stuff we have to talk about anyway. And then I see uh, the nutritionist that day, because I need to talk to her about what, um, what my meal plan is afterwards. After I have surgery, there, you know, there are various phases that you go through your liquids and your parades and your soft foods and that kind of stuff and how long you do that for and what you can and can't have. Um, so that's what that appointment will be about. Yeah, again, I have a general idea of what is what, but it's all the hoops you got to jump through and I am more than happy to devour as much knowledge as I can ahead of time so that I am as prepared as possible when I actually finally have the surgery. So surgeon, then the nutritionist, and I have some blood work that I have to have done that day, and then I'm having an MRE done, and it's part of a study that I agreed to be in, I can't, I can't remember entirely, the MRE to check your liver for fatty liver disease, and then when they do the surgery, they check your liver for fatty liver disease, and um, they'll compare the results they got from the MRE versus what the doctors actually saw when they got in there and the biopsy that they're going to do on my liver while they're in there and they'll compare those to see if um, an MRE is at good at as good at predicting or diagnosing fatty liver disease as actual surgery and going in and getting a biopsy and you know, all the physicalities that go with um, having to go inside somebody's body and maybe then you could possibly find things earlier or not. Anyway, it's a study I agreed to be in. There's another study too that I agreed to that has to do with uh, air pressure during uh, surgery for obese patients. So how much air pressure, high air pressure, low air pressure, whatever, and finding out what works best for obese patients while they're under anesthesia. So they're going to kind of mess around with that while they're doing my surgery and, um, and then log the results and whatever, whatever happens while I'm under. Both things that do not require really much more effort for me, like I said, the one with the blood test and then MRE, that's not going to hurt. <laughs> Be, I might have to breathe through a little bit of anxiety of being a little bit claustrophobic, but, <laughs> but um, she said it's not a big deal. Anything that could possibly go wrong based on something they did, if it causes any sort of medical injury, they pay for all of the care afterwards to fix whatever they fucked up. <laughs> but uh, she said there's not, I mean, it's not that there's anything they think that would happen and would go wrong and I would be injured in any way but it's just a technicality that they have to say if we screw something up for you we'll pay to take care of it we will fix it for you it's completely free none of this testing costs you any money so we just 
want you to participate. Oh, there is so much traffic. I don't know what the heck is going on at Cory Hill today, but holy bananas, there's cars all over the place. So that's it. I just have to do those couple extra things. They scheduled it all in there with um, stuff I was already doing. So I'll basically be spending the day at uh, the clinic on Friday the 4th getting all of my stuff done so that I'm ready to go for surgery on Monday the 7th and then I just call Sunday night find out what time I need to come in and, and I'll have surgery which is crazy ah, I'm, ex I'm excited I'm excited it's it's nuts and exciting and scary and I can't wait to get it done I can't well, I can't even tell you <laughs> it's been so stressful the last couple months trying to get everything organized and at the same time I was applying for and interviewing for <clears throat> and going to orientation and all this stuff for this new job that I started on Tuesday and the absolute terror of telling your brand new job that you're having surgery in two months and you're gonna have to take like three weeks off oh scared the crap out of me and thankfully my surgery I part of um, the last week that I'll have off is over Thanksgiving break anyway so it's really only two and a half weeks that they'll have to cover for me not a full three weeks but that gives me a few extra kind of freebie days um, to have off plus that weekend and then I'll go back the Monday after Thanksgiving and everything should be hopefully good to go then I'm I'm hoping I do well and I, I heal well and I don't see any real reason not to I think uh, most of it will be what am I gonna bring for lunch now <laughs> I've been really good all week I've actually been bringing my own lunch to work and snacks and everything and it's kind of trial and error I don't really eat breakfast I have like a protein shake I mix that unflavored protein powder in with my coffee in the morning so I kind of make a protein shake and that's what I have for breakfast and then I wasn't having anything at the 10 o'clock break because all the Paris take their break at the same time and I wasn't eating anything because I wasn't hungry and but I noticed everybody else, all the other pairs had a snack of some sort that they were eating. And I was like, I'm not hungry. I'm not going to eat anything. And then 11 o'clock rolls around. I'm like, holy crap. I'm so freaking hungry. <laughs> My lunch isn't until noon. I don't know if I can make it until noon. And I got really, especially the first day, I got really <laughs> tired and crabby. And holy crap, I'm exhausted and pissed off now. And um, if I remember, you know, hey, bring a snack with you into the break room and just nibble on something. I made some, I took sugar-free pudding, put the protein powder in the pudding and mixed it up and made like a, a protein, a protein pudding. Um, a little, and I'll have just like these little square cups of it that I take, little Tupperware things that um, I've been taking with me in my lunchbox and that works really well for their um, a 10 o'clock snack because it's it gives my stomach some protein to chew on for a little while and it's sugar free so I'm not jacking up my blood sugar or anything and um, then I'm relatively satisfied to lunch yesterday I had some of that uh, sriracha trail mix that I really like and I ate that during my break and that did a really good job because again it's you know nuts and stuff sesame sticks and pumpkin seeds and I think there's some like dried mango in there and I don't remember all of what's in there but it's a decent protein snack that got me through um, through to the lunch hour again and so <sighs> yeah the hardest part is gonna be what am I gonna eat when I go back to work <laughs> when am I gonna eat it how am I gonna find time to get in everything I need to get in other than that Yay, I'm excited. I have a date. I am just under two months away now from surgery. It is September 10th today, so just barely under two months, and I will be having my surgery. And I've told work, and they were all super excited and super supportive. I was really scared about that. I was really afraid they were going to be jerks. And no, I don't want to say jerks, because it's not... 
it's not their fault. They hired me and then I'm going to go on a short leave. That really sucks. So if they were upset, I would completely understand why they would be upset. But they weren't upset at all. They were really, really supportive and really kind to me about it. And I was shocked. I didn't expect that at all. I expected to be like, oh, good God. <laughs> but no, they were, they were awesome. We joked about uh, this weight loss um, groups or whatever that they're having in this competition. And the one girl said she needed to be in my group because <laughs> we would win that shit. <laughs> and I said, I, yeah, yeah, I might be disqualified. <laughs> I might not count. Uh, but anyway, I have a date. I've told... Everybody who needs to know, I'm still deciding whether I'm going to say anything more broadly. You guys know, <laughs> work knows, so it's, it's exciting. And I am so ready for the surgery. I'm so ready to get on the other side of this and start losing a lot of weight and to start feeling better and to start seeing my health improve. So... Thanks for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe and share and comment and all that good stuff. And I will talk to you later.